Okay, so <laughs> what we're doing here is I am Metro 4. Welcome. Next to me is Captain Ethan 1000, or Ethan. I've known hello, him since hello. I was a kid. And below me there, without a webcam, he's working on getting one, is uh, Shipmaster 454. I've known him for a while, too. So it's funny because you're going to hear him say that twice in my stream. <clears throat> and that's fine. So we are part of this podcast. Screw time with the boys. Every Friday, we are going Ethan's to do my it. dad. And it's going to be from 9 to 10, about an hour long. Um, you guys are more than welcome to chip in with questions if you have them. Um, they can all hear you. We can all hear you. Forewarning, if you are sensitive to sexual content or anything that is above 18 years of age, 18 plus content, please, please watch at your own risk because we all are going to talk about some things that might not be appropriate to children. So, with that being said, watch at your own risk. I, this is an 18 plus stream. Please, 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 if you're sensitive to that stuff, please click off for of this. It's for your benefit I'm and mine. I'm going to streamer mode because David is blowing me the fuck up. Shut your so, goddamn mouth. <laughs> hello. Hey, Jake. Dominic. Jake is in the chat. So, guy. So. One guy joined from my fucking... I am Metro 4. A um, little bit about me. I try to stream pretty often. I'm a uh, volunteer firefighter for my neighboring town here in Colorado. I um, coach a little bit of wrestling on the side. Mm, got a big hobby into this. I bought a gaming PC here of recent. Um, play games and have fun with my friends mostly. Um, pretty chill. Pretty chill. Not very competitive. A little bit competitive, but not very. Ethan, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, well, uh, I don't do a lot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pretty so much back most to you. Of the same, most of the same stuff Michael said, except for the firefighter stuff. Uh, I make pizzas for a living currently. Fuck uh, yeah. I play video games. I've known Michael, like, forever. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'd say I'm pretty chill with everything. You know, I'm pretty laid back. I'm just trying to have a good time. This is the first time yeah. my face has been on uh, Twitch before. That's kind of weird. Oh, we're breaking records. Look at that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That. This is the first. I mean, I've seen your face a thousand times before, but this is my first time seeing you live, bro. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. It's magical. He's got a cuddly face. He does. I love Ethan's face. I really do. Thank you. I love your face, Mike. Yeah, oh, no. I Ethan is, it. like, literally Seth Rogen right now. Like, I'm not. You don't know how many more times I I've look heard at it. Over the years. I hear <laughs> that almost true. every single I'm day. sure. You have to hear that a thousand times. You fucking look like right now. You look just like. His <laughs> I just wish he could get the laugh down though. Uh, Yo, I can't do that. <laughs> what up, my two dudes in chat? I had no right. face cam. Uh, if you want to see my face, this is my face. That's not me talking, but that's my face right there. You can enjoy that. That's another smart person's face on the bottom. It's not mine. <laughs> All right. Dominic, tell us a little bit about yourself. <clears throat> okay, sup guys. So, um, currently, I'm drinking cranberry juice right now. <laughs> um, just normal guy. <sighs> Grew up. I have asthma. <laughs> uh, so that's sick. Uh, I, I still have it. Uh. <laughs> I still have it. <laughs> you got I it, mean, little guy. You got I'm it. A <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, yeah. <laughs> Currently struggling with breathing at the moment, so that's fine. Um. Anyways, uh, I've lived in the same fucking town my whole goddamn life, pretty much. Uh, lived normal fucking life. Graduated and fucking and, and fucking. Now I'm a plumber. <laughs> Nice, nice. We're proud. So, I have a big house. <laughs> he does have a house. He's more responsible than I, both I, I the, also the bought two. house because I plumber now with that guy. So I uh, out here. I grew up in Ohio. I grew up with Ethan. We uh, we spent lots of days driving our bikes, not driving our bikes, but... riding our bikes around and hanging out, running around the town of Urbana, uh, spending time together. That was good times. Grip, oh, yeah, very good times. I myself with my El Tapatio. Uh, 
and then uh, I moved down here to Colorado, met Dominic. Uh, one of my other good friends is in the chat. He's my, one of my ever since. He's one of my moderators, Bobby the Brute. Shout out to him. He'll be our guest next week, next Friday, 9 o'clock. Tune in. Our first guest on Screw Time with the Boys. It's a pretty big thing. It's pretty crazy. It is pretty crazy. Like, we're, like, practically huge, dude. Already. I know. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> uh, uh, backtracking a little bit. It's kind of crazy thinking hello, about how Ian long it's been since you left. It's been, like, what, five five years now? Six or yeah. seven, I think. It's mine now. Stop getting mad about I it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's been about six or seven, yeah. So. That's crazy. Yeah. Good times, though. Um, oh, we, yeah. We want to go We want to go back. I, I miss it. I miss, I miss it quite a lot. I want to go back and see you too, Dad. It's been so, a while. Hey, next time I come there, I'm, we might be bringing we might be bringing Dominic. That'd be awesome. It's possible. So, yeah, hopefully we'll we can do the, like a vacation down to Colorado sometime. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, I know. We're we're kind of already planning one. That'd be sick too, because it's mm -hmm. it's for Dominic's twenty first birthday. He's becoming a a legal alcoholic. So. Hey guys, I'm <laughs> underage right now, but that's why I'm just drinking cranberry juice, and it's fine. All right. And it's cranberry juice. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, I swear. Oh yeah. Because now motherfuckers <laughs> don't bring any fucking vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drink the last sip I have. That was. Ooh, I heard that Chris. Uh, the Lee dog or Lie dog? I fucking always forget how you pronounce. It. Sorry, my guy. So, um, with that being said, we are the co-host for Screw Time with the Boys. Um, we will be here almost all the time. If one of them can't, then that's fine. We will make do with what we have. Uh, thank you all for watching. Six viewers. That is probably the most I've had at one time. On and that's Twitch. it. Peace, and I, guys. <laughs> I very much appreciate it. <laughs> so. YW, buddy. Thanks, man. Uh, what's next? I guess we're just talking now, right? That's that's what this is about. How, how's, right. everyone, how's everyone's week been? Uh, tired. My knees hurt. My back hurts. Those things always hurt twenty four seven for me. Yeah, I'm always on my knees though, uh, for reasons you might think, and also for reasons you might not think. I think I might need to come over here soon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if he's <laughs> handing it out, why not? Bobby says, "Stop being a baby." <laughs> what me or? Yeah, you. Why? All right. I got my first question here. Mind, baby. And, and if any of the chat members have questions for us and don't know Ethan or don't know anybody, just just shoot them out. We'll we'll get to them eventually. I, I have the chat pulled up. I as you can see. I have the chat pulled up as well. So, with that being said, speaking of cranberry juice, what is your go-to juice like? Uh, overall, your go-to juice, Ethan. What's up? I don't know. I feel like I'm more of like a orange juice person. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like that's like my primary juice. You just talking like like straight just fruit juices? Just fruit juice, yep. Juicy juice. Uh, I'm gonna have I to like say grape. grape. Also. Conquered grape juice? Welch's Conquered grape juice. Oh, specific. Oh yeah, for sure. Gotcha. Boom. Fucking on the dot. Nice. Lock it in. That is a good answer. I'd have, I'd have to uh, say mine would be. Um, oh. Apple. David brought up a good topic that we're going to talk about later, and you guys better fucking talk about it. It's fine. We'll bring it uh, up later. Dude, we're but talking it, about whatever you want to talk it about. Has, okay? It has to do with this shit, but we're going to finish this. But I, I'd have to say everywhere I go, I can't stand. I Eli can't says stand apple juice. Orange juice with pulp. I you cannot don't, okay, stand. Okay, homie. I can't Ethan, do what it. is your take on pulp? What's my it's, take on pulp? <laughs> What's your take on pulp, my guy? I don't know. I've honestly, I've never thought about it before <laughs> until this Are, very so moment. So you okay with drinking p shit with yeah. pulp? In it. Okay. See, I make sure that mine has pulp. <laughs> I don't get the extra pulp I used to, and then I was like, nah, that's probably not good. Uh, so I just get regular orange juice, <laughs> and it, it's good for me. Like I, I like pulp. I like it's pulp. it's not the taste. It doesn't do anything to the taste it's for the me. It's the same as coconut water. I hate coconut. I hate it. The taste is fine. The taste. So you do like coconut water, or you coconut, don't like coconut, coconut water? Coconut water is fine if it doesn't okay, yeah. have the little pieces of coconut in it. I hate nah, that. I that's can't different. Stand like the I don't like. Is it called pulp if it's coconut, or is it just coconut? 
or the rind or the meat. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's called hi. <laughs> Can I help you? I just I can't I can't do the consistency. I can't do it. When I feel that stuff, like when I'm drinking stuff, I want it to be smooth, not like right. little chunks exactly. of shit in there. <laughs> I like I I um, definitely I agree it. with that one. Coconut water, I but can't yeah. do it. I cannot do it for some reason. I'll eat a coconut though for sure. I love coconut. But no, but I I, I'm fine with orange well. juice without the pulp. But apple juice is definitely my go-to. Like when apple I go to like a continental awesome. breakfast, I could destroy or some like apple juice. Not gonna oh. lie. <laughs> I, just I don't get like the gritty. Yeah, sensation if, if it's like if I'm at a hotel and they have a breakfast like that, I usually get apple juice. Yeah, I just don't like the, the the sugary gritty taste you get on your teeth. You're like, mm. I hate yeah, that. that. There's a lot of juices that do that. Grape juice does that a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I get. Are we done with that? Because uh, but yeah, we just segue okay. whatever, man. If we're we gotta come back. We come back. Fucking David, I, we got on this. I talked about him with this a while ago. Anyways, so guys, we have to talk about cereal. Oh yes, I'm a connoisseur of cereal. We have to cereal. talk about cereal. Ethan is I, I, I do indulge in cereal. <laughs> so really, I I I need your guys's top number one cereal to begin with oh god i'm, I'm going last. Or at I least have, I name, one. name a small range like three to five i guess that are gotcha. like for sure i guess if you can't pick one i really <sighs> like honey bunches of oats and frosted yes. flakes those are definitely probably my top okay. Okay. two yeah you can't go wrong with honey bunches of oats you can't never never I prefer al the almond one, but oh, all yeah. of them that, are good. Yeah, that's, all of them that's are what good, I'm talking about. I love almonds. almonds Anything almond, I love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. I have really wanted to try. I honestly can say I have really wanted to try the, because I love um, the, the oatmeal cream pies. I love those things, and they have oatmeal cream pie cereal. I tried uh, Twinkie cereal, and it sucked. It was terrible. That's a thing? Okay, I missed that. But, it was gross. Uh, that it, sounds like it would be gross. I've never seen that before. They were waxy and just disgusting. It made the roof of your okay. mouth, like, wax. And it was okay, gross. dude, I'm going to branch off so many times on specific cereals. Hey, you that go I ahead, man. Love. We're just but, talking, like, okay, man. so before then, so with me, it's not like, so I'm kind of picky with cereals, but I feel like everyone is, right? Uh, with just you only get the shit that you like, and there's specific things that you don't like about ones so like me i don't really have a top one but honey bunches of oats is definitely in my top five with almonds fucking good old i don't know how you guys like like what, how you guys feel about like kind of plain cereals not like plain to where there's like nothing except like like wheat cereal without fucking frost on them like frosted mini wheats is phenomenal that's also top five for me regular wheat cereal i don't like at all so shit like that but some rice checks though Oh. Top five. Oh. Top they five. slap a little different though. They're they bland do. as hell, but they slap a little different. Every now and then I'll get chocolate checks because it does taste good, but it gets soggier faster. So you gotta find a good ratio of sogginess quickness and how fast you can eat that cereal. So True. take take fruity pebbles or cocoa pebbles, whichever you prefer. Oh, I dude. prefer fruity pebbles, but I never eat them because while they have amazing flavor. They get soggy t way too fast for me for the amount I pour in the bowl. Yeah. So I never eat them because I don't like soggy cereal, period. Some people like it soggy and they'll fucking wait for it to get soggy, which is whatever. I don't fucking like that. So some, like some cereal slaps it. when it's soggy. It slaps I, when it's crunchy, but it slaps when it's like golden grams is a perfect example. They no, are mine when it's soggy, but I'm not gonna like wait. Do that for to it. Me, man. No, no, oh, I'm not no. gonna wait. I'm not gonna golden be like. Grams I have two boxes of golden grams and two boxes of fucking frosted mini wheats in my pantry okay, right golden now. Golden grams are fantastic. Go They're bowl. amazing, but cinnamon I, checks I aren't bad, Damon. They aren't terrible. I can't, I can't eat soggy cereal. Like I just don't like it at all. Just soggy anything really. But uh, one other thing that another cereal I used to eat as a kid, but also is like this gets soggy the quickest out of any cereal for some reason but tastes amazing is life cereal that shit tastes yeah, fucking yeah, it good does. I but do it like gets it. soggy in like an instant so i never eat it i do like it i i can for, for sure say, ow it's kicked my trash can <laughs> i can for sure say yeah it's, it's pretty good um 
Cinnamon checks, yeah, they're pretty good. And honey nut, I can fuck with some honey nut Cheerios. I really could. I do. Yeah. I definitely prefer those over regular Cheerios, but regular Cheerios. Like I put a little eat. sugar on there. Yeah. Oh, bomb Dude, I used to AF, fucking dude. dump sugar on Cheerios when I was a kid, <laughs> and it was bad, bro. Like I would <laughs> go shit. Like I'd probably pour the same amount of fucking sugar on Cheerios as I would in Kool Aid. <laughs> like a whole pitcher of I cool. swear to god dude you got like three cups of fucking sugar it's a mountain of sugar on top I of some Cheerios fucking, I would always use the little teaspoon so it would take me like five minutes to put sugar on it <laughs> I was it was bad as a kid Fr Fruity yeah, Pebbles, Fruity are, Pebbles are definitely up there for me uh, Yeah, I like a cereal that I, I like but I haven't liked as much lately and I think it's because I've noticed that it does get soggy fast as well is Crave Cereal uh, I've been craving I was, forever. I used to destroy that stuff, though. I used to, too, and it just got old after a while. I was eating exactly, so like, much. It, it, well, you get to a point where you're just like, well, why don't I just fucking buy real chocolate <laughs> and eat it <laughs> without pour milk? pour milk over it and just eat it like or that. that right. uh, yeah, I, I'm down for some crazy. I like the, the double chocolate, though, more than the regular, but both are fucking good. Yeah. I, the chocolate's a little on the sweeter side than I like. I like more... I like dark chocolate. I like more bitter chocolate, but not like super bitter. But yeah. So another Jake, just real quick. Sorry, Dominic. Um, oh, you're getting... We are doing these every Friday at nine o'clock uh, Mountain Standard Time, so our time, and eleven o'clock Eastern Time, so Ethan's time. Every every Friday next week yes, we're sir. gonna have a guest. Um, we would like to have anyone else that is up for doing it. We will probably come to you and ask you here in a couple of weeks. We've got it lined up for like the next two or three weeks though. So. We're doing it every Friday, 9 o'clock. All right. I have another quick question on the cereal topic. Do you, guys, do you guys eat it in a bowl, first off? Uh, Most most of the time, yeah. I don't have to, but I, I will. Have you I'll ever eat it in poured cereal it in over milk? I have before, but it's because I messed up. But I have done it on purpose a couple times when I was younger. But oh I've done God. it multiple times. Dealing with a psychopath. On accident. <laughs> I've, I don't do it on purpose. But, I, like, you know, as a kid, I did that one time. And I was like, oh, I just got milk all over myself because it splashed everywhere. <laughs> but that was, like, twice in my life that I did it on purpose. The rest, dude, I've probably done it a hundred times on accident because I'm just freaking stupid. And I'm like, oh, I just poured the milk first, guys. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. um, you know those big stadium cups? They're they're like a big state. Like you get oh, them at yeah. football games, you get them at yeah, games. Yeah. Um, yeah. I use those. I pour cereal in those, and then I pour milk like, over that, and we have these big like long horrible. teaspoons. Like like they have a little little head on them, and they're super long. And I use those, and I eat it out of the cup. It's super convenient. It is. I love gotcha. it. And that's your go-to before a bowl, right? Oh, that's one hundred percent. I'll go for that okay. before and, I eat a bowl. <laughs> wait, so but you still eat it with a spoon? Oh yeah. Okay. It's like three times the cereal too. It you is. Get way is more way cereal more. out of it. <laughs> I down some. I get down a bunch. I of have cereal to use like, like smaller day. bowls though because, uh, mine. I just don't like it getting any type of soggy. So all the cereal on the bottom side is gonna get a little bit more soggy. Um, and I don't try to fucking chow down my cereal quickly. I like to enjoy it and shit. Okay. But next cereal. Uh, this is a very debatable one because I've heard a lot of people talk good things about it. But I think. Oreo O's are fucking disgusting because no, they don't I've taste like Oreos them. at all. I've only had them once. And I was like, it's okay, I guess. I don't know. It's nothing amazing. Yeah, I've, I've never had them, so. Okay, well, tr definitely try them at least once, but like, those are gross in my opinion. They don't taste, the, the actual piece of cereal doesn't taste like an Oreo, and it's like coated in a frosting rather than mini Oreos in milk. Which they should have fucked. Why don't? Why wouldn't you do it that way? Make it cookie crisp, but fucking Oreos, not fucking know, a ball that's covered <laughs> in a, a non-Oreo frosting frosting. Okay, and and sell it. <laughs> don't do that. <coughs> End of yeah, topic. Sorry. Those are gross. <laughs> End of discussion. <laughs> All right, so. Next thing I've got here on the docket. So I understand that we, we've all worked in food or retail at, at some point in our life. I think Ethan is mm -hmm. working in, in food right now. 
Yeah, um, for about like two, two a little over two years now, maybe. And and I got out of I got out of the retail business about two, three years ago, and I Dama did did the same thing. Um. Uh, yeah, about two years ago. So how Ethan? How how is it working there, man? Like, how, what? Tell us some stuff about it. It's, it's fun. It, at first, it's a little. It was, I remember at first it was a little overwhelming and stressful. Yeah. But the more I don't know, I feel like that's something you get used to, and it's just you kind of just go with the flow. It's not hard. I mean, I can do everything there pretty much. Run the counter, talk to people, answer phones all the time. Can can you get the, the pizza spinning on your fucking middle finger yet? Can you? Do... No, we don't do that. <laughs> We're not that fancy. Damn. Have you tried? I wish though. When nobody's nah, looking. No, because I would get in trouble. Oh. <laughs> I would probably drop it and then immediately get like the crap beat out of Kick me. Kick it under the fridge. <laughs> get in the back. You have a fridge. <laughs> Sit in the corner no, for an hour. No, you know hour. what you do? Yeah. You take the bag of flour and you sprinkle it on the floor. <laughs> So that way, if it hits the floor, you're good. You're safe. Yeah, you that's a lot up. of flour. Our flour bags are 50 pounds each. I stack Hell those yeah. things up. It's like that's there's like 26 working. bags, and I move all of them hey, myself. Let's, let's see those guns, dude. Let's see them. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we're not doing that. It's, Muscle yeah. reveal at 100 100 followers. Oh, dude, guys, let's get there. Even though you're all following Michael, me already. Michael already has a fucking follower challenge though. So unless you're adding another one. It's still bold reveal at 100. It is followers. bold reveal for who is bold it? Reveal. <laughs> Loser gamer We've pro. We've just tested this months ago, and yeah. he's agreed. He's agreed. Bold reveal. <laughs> Here, let me actually. We're not promising anything fancy or nice, but you know maybe you'll get a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Depends on how Dominic, happy I make my. How, how about you, man? <laughs> how was your? What was it? Coles? How was your Coles? I worked at Coles. And so I didn't – so, okay, first off, going into it, I'm way – now I think I'm way more social. Like, I'm not as shy in public. But back then, like, I, all the way through my childhood up to, like, that year or two I worked, I worked there for just over a year, like a couple weeks over a year. Yeah. And uh, I fucking – uh, was super like not very social. Like I'll talk, I would talk to people if they talked to me, but I never made conversation, anything. So like, and I did, I didn't do like the registers or like any of the sales type shit, or I didn't like really at the beginning. I didn't really work in, in the departments. I straight up, I was, I think the actual job name was called like stockroom fulfillment. Mm-hmm. But it ended up just being called Omni. And so I thought it was like, my un impression of it was, okay, so I'm the one that takes all the shipments into the, from the trucks and puts them in the stock room and stocks the stock room, right? So I did the complete opposite of that. <laughs> and I was kind of disappointed, but it still worked. Um, yes, Steve, that's a good idea. Anyways, uh, fucking... I basically would, I, so the reason it was called fulfillment was because I would be the one that would shop for the online orders in store and package them to send out. So of all, of all things I thought I was going to be doing, I was the one around every department in the store more than anyone else. Man. So I was the one getting stopped the most by people being like, Hey, can you help me? But it was funny because, you know what, I, I, I honestly, I called that job being a professional cart pusher uh, because professional. I just pushed, I just pushed, it's the same, it's almost the same looking carts you have at Walmart with those people shopping for groceries, except it doesn't have the little shelves on them. It's got big ass shelves. Yeah. Uh, it's almost the same exact thing though. Same, almost, almost the same device. Ours, I don't know what brand the ones at Walmart was, but ours was called a Bluebird. It was like a Microsoft brand one. Uh, and so uh, we used those and I just fucking did I just scanned items put them in the bag or whatever I was I usually just tossed them into a bin scanned the bin walk back once I filled all the orders out for that run and then package them and put them in a box and that box gets picked up and then I do the same thing over again 
and so I got really bored of it. But you know, it was it wasn't too bad. It yeah. kind of showed me uh, certain things. I started to understand customer service a bit more. Nice, doing that. nice. But I'd say mine it, helps with my social like stuff also, like answering yeah. phones and getting the counter and stuff. Like I feel like I can talk to people a lot better. I can do stuff yeah. like this and not like you know have an anxiety attack. Yeah, yeah like yeah. so like. I was so against that at the beginning, but eventually I was just like, I don't really care. Uh, eventually they were like, got to the point where like, I did have to start taking calls and, and working in departments specifically, mainly uh, shoes. Like before I would be put in home and kids sometimes. And all I was doing was basically folding clothes, like little kids clothes and putting them on shelves that were destroyed. And I'd just be re folding everything a thousand times. Yeah. <clears throat> and then eventually they started putting me in shoes and like, apparently like no one like i would help people but n those people would never really talk to me otherwise but apparently they seem to really like me because like my boss would always tell me that they're like you should uh you're gonna be in shoes again because everyone seems to like you in there i'm like okay sick i guess even though i hated shoes because it was so boring and it was the the aisle it's shoes is in any department store it's almost 100 percent always the most theft heavy fucking department yeah unless Everyone's the store has shoes. like a cosmetics department and then yeah and ours did yeah. but almost like 90 percent of our cosmetics were boxed up or in some sort of alarm protected thing so they didn't really steal from there yeah most places are they would steal cheap jewelry all the time but like not any of the thousand dollar rings or whatever <laughs> yeah um, i mean yeah that's pretty much yeah jake we we can talk about sports here um in a sec <laughs> Ain't gonna um, be much, but yeah. <laughs> I uh, I uh, worked at Walmart for three years, two years roughly. Um, but I, I worked all over the store. I was oh man, I worked all over. I started in Lawn and Garden. I moved to Toys. And then I went to Cap Two. I was stocking the store. Then I went to um, Electronics, and that's where I ended in Electronics. But they would move me around to the, all the other departments, so I basically worked everywhere in in, in Walmart, and it was it was fun. And, and everybody knows that the the Walmart community is not the best dressed community, and I've seen some pretty weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> Men should not be wearing thongs. No, that's that why I was pink. like, I'd never want to work at Walmart because like, of no, all the weird shit I'd you. see. Guy bent like over. He was looking for a phone case, and he picked up this <laughs> pink sparkly phone case. I'm dead serious. Picked it up off the shelf. Was looking at it. And then he, I think he purposely dropped it. I don't know though, because I was standing there. He kind of looked back, looked at me, and then he just went and dropped it. And then he bent over, and it was, <laughs> his fucking, oh, he had the pink thong on, and I just, I lost it. I couldn't stay there. I lost it and had to leave. <laughs> I walked away just giggling my ass off, dude. It was funny as hell. We, oh man, Ethan, you have to deal with weirdos that, that spir spark to pee. You get to get the dude comes in. Uh, Can I get you cheese? We've had people like come to the counter like drunk before and just be like idiots, but most of the time it's just like people over the phone. Like you talk, I'm sorry, but you sometimes talk to the stupidest people over the phone. Oh, you do. And they'll just, oh yeah. You act, they'll act like they know everything, and then you'll. They'll like say something, you'll repeat it back to them and be like, No, you're completely wrong. And I'm like, I'm not, but mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> that's, <laughs> Whatever that's you want. The same at Walmart customers too. Like, always right, I guess. Electronics, Got you get a speaker call. on the line. You get a call in electronics and it's some old guy asking you about can I get that thingy that plugs into the other thingy? Oh, you mean an HDMI cord? No, it's called a, a DSI cable. Uh, okay, we have those. Uh how long are they? Five foot. You you say five foot? Oh, I need a ten foot. That won't work. Click. And it's like, what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for calling. I love the people that would come in and tell me how to, that, that they'd ask me a question about the product. And then they tell me about the product. Like I didn't know. Yeah. Like, are, why'd you fucking ask if you knew the question? <laughs> Dude, you know, the most awkward situation I, I'm almost always put in almost every day at Kohl's or when I was working there was, so I did all the online shopping. I mean, me and a couple other employees, but it was mostly me. I was almost, <laughs> like, almost like the head in terms of that specific thing. And fucking, so I had to shop in every department, uh, which includes Intimates, which is 
women's lingerie. Ooh. And so, like, nice. it, it wasn't that I felt, well, the first few times I definitely felt fucking awkward. Just like, I'm just looking through this entire pile of panties to find the right one. That doesn't sound weird. And so I'm fucking looking, and I don't, like, my name tag was kind of hidden because I'm always fucking, like, uh, facing, like, down and shit on the bottom shelf and no one can see me. Uh, my name tag, so they don't know I work there, so I just look kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, it, it was weird. Uh, it, mainly because of everyone would stare at me. Like everyone, and I'm just like, I, Betty Ray! Up, yeah, I know. I'm exactly. just like, I'm. I don't ever tell people because then it makes it worse. Like I'm just like, I, I'm not. Be, I'm not doing what you think I'm doing. Like I just yeah, go about yeah, you it. You never but, defend you. You just fucking do no. it. No. So I'm just like, uh, have you guys seen well, the uh, the TikTok of the dude or the girl? She's like, I left my bra at my boyfriend's house, and he sent me this, and it's him. He's fucking hopping around the house on all fours, and he's got it on his eyes, and he's going rip it. Ribbit. Ribbit. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I I used to do that all the time and it was fucking weird. Oh man, it yeah. Work at working in retail is, is whew, it's a different beast. I feel I feel like working in food's a little better. Because you, know, you don't get do as that, many that weirdos. Stuff, you get you guys, weirdos, yeah. but you don't get as many weirdos that come in you mainly get the, the, the i don't know who are drunk my, or stoned or whatever but you don't get the my, my dude coming and going to... you got cheese uh can i just get some cheese uh no sir we don't just sell cheese do you want a pizza no do you, i want oh, your cheese do you get a lot of uh <laughs> homeless people going in there ethan really well, there there has been some people though that'll come in and ask like if we can spare some stuff which we usually can but not not as much as you would think yeah we give not... stuff to the caring kitchen sometimes like if oh, we yeah. have some like tomatoes that we don't really like want to use I'll, right. I'll take like a whole thing of tomatoes or onions or whatever and Ooh. give it to the caring kitchen I have a question for you Mr. Ethan me, me and Dominic can't answer this because we worked at retail <coughs> not with food yeah. have you ever had an asshole customer where you did something to their order no, I have never done that. You've never done anything to any nothing I've at all. I've thought about it. Thought he's about just it saying that. Time, he's just saying that. He's just saying that to cover his fucking self. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. I no, have I know, never I know sabotaged. Either. I've hooked people I, I up. I hook people either. up all the time. Nice. But nice. I've never sabotaged something. Here, have some of my ball sweat. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> do you like no, dragons? We suck each other up at work. All I can time. see you doing it, Michael. Oh, one like if you really hated mind. someone, but like, I don't think I could ever do that. You treat me like shit and be like, I want this changed now, and I want a discount. Okay, you like dragons? Yeah. Why? Okay, that's all I need to know. I'm gonna go drag my balls across your fucking pizza. <laughs> Something that annoys me though, that happens very frequently, is that th there's a certain person that there's a lot of people that do this, but there's this one person specifically that orders all the time, and they'll be like, "Can I get extra, extra, extra cheese, extra, extra, extra ham, extra like extra pe uh, pepperonis, all this stuff?" And then I'll get their pizza and complain that it's not like it's not fully extra, cooked right? all the way. And we're like, well, it would help if you didn't stack like three pounds. We literally put it through the oven three times. <laughs> like, what? You put like 9,000 pounds of things on top of it. It's just annoying. I hate making that pizza. Ham is my uh, least favorite thing to spread around a pizza. Fucking Our ham is never, just like, I hate gross. Fucking ham. Oh, is it just slimy and nasty? Is it like that yeah, old it's lunch just like meat? Mushy. Fucking... It's like mushy ham. Ugh, mushy ham's the worst. I love Sparky's, but like, I don't, I don't know. Our ham is like. <laughs> you don't like Sparky <laughs> Sam. <laughs> I have a yeah, like that'd be the kind of weirdo up. that would walk into Walmart. Hey, do you have Sparky's mushy ham? <laughs> Can I get I some, some of that mushy Sparky's ham, mushy please. ham? No, that's not at Sparky's. Hey, Ethan, <laughs> um, I'd like to order some of your mushy ham. Of course. Please. I'll give it to you. <laughs> Those are the weirdos that come into Walmart and shit. It's fucking, oh my god. Oh, all right. Jake wants to talk about sports. <laughs> so. Um, I play Rocket League sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, dude. Like, really, though. <laughs> Michael's 
I don't I don't know about you, Ethan, and maybe you did when you were younger, but like I have never played sports in like in yeah. school. I've obviously done it hanging out at the park or something. I've never been in a real sport though, like for real. When I was young, I played baseball, but like nah, I didn't not, I didn't play anything in high school or anything. I did flag football once when I was younger and hated it. But that's like the extent. I like I like baseball. I don't watch sports a lot, but I do enjoy the sport of baseball. I think it's fun when a f- playing well, it with I friends. Sports, but not nice, that, nice. Not that type of sports. I yeah, I, uh, I, I, I was the big sports, sports nut there, Jake. I had three sports in high school, three sports in middle school. It's all sports since I was fucking barely able to walk. Yeah, I'm, I'm the sports nut. So I know. Dominic is a huge, huge UFC nut. Huge. I do like watching. I love like, MMA. Fights. Yeah, he, he's an MMA MMA nut. I'm a wrestling nut. I love me some wrestling. Speaking of, tomorrow is gonna have one of the most stacked cards ever. Yeah, he's he's pretty hyped. Ethan, do you have a do you have a, a like a sport that you watch that you like subconsciously are like, yeah, this shit slap. You, you don't watch it all the time, but you love it. Uh, I do like watching like boxing and mma like stuff like ufc i enjoy watching that i'm not like super into it like i can't just like name off a bunch of like fighters or whatever yeah and i can't either. but <laughs> here recently um i've started to you know like i'll i'll paper like get like pay-per-view fights and stuff and like sit down and watch with my family and all that nice, nice. I know, it's fun i entertain it's entertaining all right yeah. real shit right now What's the most boring sport to watch? Golf. Uh, out of all like major sports, that's not like some weird ass fucking <laughs> underwater sport, basket like, weaving or some shit like, like that. Yeah, stuff like <laughs> uh, you know, out of the main sports, I think golf. The commentators are quiet and boring and calm as fuck, and it just takes forever to do to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It. I, it, I can see that. I can see that. That's as definitely up there for me. Dude, baseball can go to like fucking eight hours, I swear. <laughs> and it's gone longer, I'm pretty sure. For like definitely. And I can't fucking like I could watch baseball over that just because there's more action <clears throat> in golf. Mm-hmm. I um, would agree. But I still like baseball takes a while, but I would it's still rather watch that. Golf it, for me has always been my least favorite sport to watch. Most boring. Fair enough, fair enough. What about you, Ethan? Like, uh, my most boring sport? Yeah, or, or like, if you're tied, one or two. I, I think I'd have to agree with mostly what Dom said. I think golf's pretty... Golf's one of those sports I feel like if you have a bunch of friends, it's fun to play. But, yeah. like, watching, no. I wouldn't want to watch it. Yeah. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. I'm, I'm down Let's to play see. golf. Like, that's fun. But, yeah, definitely not watching it ever. I, I would have to Put say it's up boys. there. It's, it's definitely up there for me. It's It's not... Right. It's not my number one, though. It is definitely not my number one because there's a sport where the players are super small and action only happens for, like, 30 seconds in a 90-minute fucking match. And it's soccer. <laughs> 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 you watch the ball go back and forth on the field on these tiny little players, and then, like, 30 seconds out of the whole entire 90 minutes, you get a run on goal and somebody gets a breakaway. And it's the best thing ever. And the announcers get into it. They're like, oh, oh he's going for it. That's the thing. I, I've i never, like, been super into soccer, but I love the energy around, oh, dude. like, soccer. Yeah, yeah that's true. And I went to a dubs I, once I could on my birthday during the World Cup or whatever. Oh, dude. And, like, oh, my God. It's People fucking are just insane. Like it's just so crazy. boring I until it. somebody scores. <laughs> Yeah. It's when somebody like, scores. Oh my God. So I've never <laughs> fully watched a soccer game, like fully. So I could never say that I've, oh, I'd get terrible. bored by it because I've never really experienced that. It's great to uh, play. I love to play it. Bobby can agree with me there. It's great to play. But watching it from like 9,000 fucking feet in the air back there. Yeah, and like, dude, like down. soccer stadiums are way bigger than football stadiums. So like the cameras are like a mile high. So oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, it sucks. Yeah, it's crazy. And you watch these little tiny people run around and this little white speck on the screen just fucking back and forth all game. And then eventually it goes in the net and everybody freaks out. And it, yeah, soccer's definitely number one for me. I, 
I can't watch soccer, dude. Yeah. Golf's up there, though. Golf's up there. I I could watch golf over 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 soccer, though, because golf, I know what's happening. And yeah. I and I, it's kind of intense. It's like, oh shit, can you get it? Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. That's fucking. I know soccer's yeah. most watched in the world. That's because it's the most popular sport in the world. Yeah. Football is the most popular in the U.S., but in the world, not everybody in the world has football. So they no. next one down is soccer. So everybody watches soccer. Mm-hmm. So yeah, soccer is massive around the world. It's only mildly mm-hmm. huge in the in the U.S. So. Yeah, fucking. It's yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's all. The, golf's the only one I fucking ever complain about, just because it's the only one I've really experienced, other yeah. than a baseball game. Sorry, but... I was talking to my brother off screen. You're good, bro. You're right. Fucking... Um, but at least like watching baseball live, like not live, but like at a baseball stadium is fucking super fun. But uh. On the TV, on TV, yeah. There's a lot. I mean, I won't watch most sports on TV. The only shit I watch is combat sports. Like, yeah. MMA is at the top, but I'll. I love watching wrestling. I like boxing. Oh. Um. Like all that shit, but MMA is at the top. I like watch watching boxing. Yeah, I, I'd have to say wrestling's probably my favorite. To dude, watch. tomorrow, I dude tomorrow, I was so fucking hyped for it, dude. Tomorrow's a big day for combat sports. You got that huge UFC fight with the, tri- the like the triple main event or whatever. Three three title fights, yeah. And then you got the NCAA fucking um, round ones to get into the to uh, the national tournament. You've got that tomorrow. Grand Valley mm-hmm. is wrestling. My, the high school I graduated from is wrestling regionals. Their second day tomorrow. It's a big day for combat sports tomorrow. Holy crap! Nice. Yeah, fucking yeah, dude. Fucking Adesanya versus Jan Blahovic. Adesanya's going up a weight class, so if he wins, he's gonna be a two division champion. <sighs> <laughs> fucking, it's gonna be awesome. And I'm pretty sure he's going to win. That dude's fighting IQ is way too high. Yeah. I'm not going to get too far into that. So cool. (laughs) So. (laughs) Anyways. Anyways. So, Jake has another question here for you guys. What's your favorite football team? You guys probably know mine. If you know me at all, you probably know mine. So. If you got a favorite football team. Uh, you know, let's do one and two because I guarantee you guys I don't have know my two. second. You know my one, but you might not know my second. I I have two, but like well, one of them them. is just because of one season that I started liking them, and obviously, fucking everyone hates them now. Um, and th- and that's whoops, I fucking just fuck all my Discord at once. Yeah, my glasses <laughs> in the way I can't even fucking see the tab. Uh, anyways, uh, fucking uh. And and that's the and that's the Patriots and so and but like the past like three years I I just really stopped caring and I hardly ever watched football even the Super yeah. Bowls I like rarely watch I watch it but I didn't uh, even watch the one as a kid this it was always the Patriots because ever since that one season where they had an undefeated uh they went undefeated <laughs> and won the Super Bowl. I was like, bro, these guys are the fucking best, and now they're my favorite. And that was kind of riding the bandwagon, and I'm going to admit to it. I'm not going to be a little sissy about it. Like, yeah, no, I really did like fine. them. But other than that, it's the Broncos all day. Fair enough. I The only the only problem I had with uh, the, uh, the Patriots was Tom Brady. It's yeah. The only problem. I don't like Tom Brady. Brady. And the Patriots like are fine a... now. He's gone. I, I don't like Tom yeah. Brady. I don't. But, okay, so... I will argue that till the day I die. Why he is not the goat. I will argue that. Yeah, and no, if you cheat, you instantly should. And it's not just that. that. It's to be the goat. Yeah, he's a fucking little bitch. The greatest of all time. (laughs) You have to be the goat on and off the field. Congratulations, you have six Super Bowl rings or whatever, however many seven. I don't even know. But you're a cocky asshole off the field, so you cannot tell me that you're the goat. You can't. You have to be respectful outside of the game as well and humble yourself outside, even though you are very good at the game. 
that yeah. is that is a goat right there. That is a respectful person who but that that would be a people's goat. But like, yeah, like in actual but reality, goat... the unfortunate truth is uh, goat status is always like in in the actual sport and not just by the people's. But like, in a in a it... sport sport as big as football, your public image is part of the game. It if you is, go out smoking and drinking and getting a DUI. It's always you're fine. And I'm not and I'm not saying I just because I agree like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not if I don't fucking if this dude's a dickhead off the field, I'm not gonna like him and he's not gonna be anywhere near the the top five of all time. Uh but in terms of sports and how that works, it's always based on your stats. It doesn't matter how yeah, you are. And I know, and that's what people dumb. that's what people which will classify. And and that's what they will. It's the same like there's this one guy that's pound for pound on in the UFC, the best, and that's John Jones. But there's a lot of fights that he's tested positive for drugs on him. You instantly, if you lose one, you should not be goat anymore. That's just my opinion. Yeah, but at the same time, UFC's agree. not as big as football, and it's you're not off the off, not. out of the ring. Your public image doesn't matter as much because you're not such a public image. As you are in football. It's not as big, but it is close. It's still millions of people oh, watching. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Every I'm, not, I'm not saying it's not. It's just but, your pu- they don't much care about your public image as much. They care about you mm, kicking the shit out of the dude in the ring. <laughs> you'd be surprised. Oh, I know, I'm not saying it's, it's unanimous. It's, you just don't hear about it. Yeah, you don't. it's not blown. Out, and that's what it is. It's the media. And that's that's where I'm wrong, and I well, should correct I mean, myself. that's the thing, too. I, I don't really know anything about Tom Brady or anyone off the field. I don't watch football or know anything about it. So it's the same thing. Like, I never hear anything about how people are, like, goat-wise. I don't know who the best is. I barely know any football players' names. Like, so I wouldn't know. It's the same with people. Like, people would be surprised at how many people like a certain thing that they also like. So. That people don't look up. Ethan. Kind of moving this along here. So, Ethan, what what are your top two teams that you you say you like? See, I've never like been super into football, so I've always just gone off like teams that like my dad likes, I guess. Same. I think so, I know this answer. You yeah, you know it. Michael. Oh, I, think I, yeah. know, I know what your parents like. Oh hell yeah. Um, uh, I think both of our like parents are always like Browns fans for the most part. Fuck yeah, dude. Right. Yep. Yeah, my dad's always been a big Browns fan, so I've always just kind of leaned towards them. But I don't like watch football for the most. Yeah. I didn't watch like any football this last year yeah. like, at all. I didn't I, I watched because the Browns did. <clears throat> I, I watched because the Browns did fantastic this last year. I think it's funny when the Browns are playing, and I can hear my dad like getting into it. Oh in yeah. Room, like, <laughs> let's go, go, <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, my, I always, <laughs> I always root for my dad's teams, but I, I've grown to like them a lot more now. But my dad's two teams are the fucking 49ers and, and the Packers. Yeah, and I I fucking love the Packers. They're they're probably see my uh, my second third. team, and I I cannot tell you why I like their colors. I like their quarterback. Russell Wilson is a great guy. It's the Seahawks. I don't know why I I'm drawn to them. I've Never eat. I don't know anything about them, but their quarterback and their colors are blue and green, and I just I like them. I like their uniforms. I just I don't know. They're not my number one team. The Browns are my number one team. But <laughs> Jacob, uh, sure we can't, Jake. We've been friends for this long, <laughs> and I've been a Browns fan. The only the only reason you can't be a or can't be my friend is if you're a Steelers fan, and even then, suck it up. We beat you. Oh well. <laughs> Twice Get in a row. Over it. <laughs> Beat him twice in less than a week. So, yeah, yeah. Get right. I I don't yeah. know why you hate the Seahawks, and I don't know why I like them. So it's okay. He doesn't like, like the Seahawks because his brother does. <laughs> That's his only reason. Oh, well, his brother. I a I, fan, so I don't. I'm not a diehard fan. Like I don't even watch any of their games. I just I like their colors and I like them as a team. I also I like think logo. It, I do. It is fun when uh if it's a t- if both teams are teams I don't care about and I have someone that's like. A friend or family member that uh that really does like one of the teams i always make sure to go against them just to piss them off it's fucking <laughs> fun. 
Tom's an instrument of chaos. <laughs> Only yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no, I, I, I could not tell you why. I, I don't have a reason for. Um. Uh, I, I'm not a Chiefs yeah. fan. I'm not a bandwagoner. And the Broncos, eh, they're yeah. I don't like their colors. Their colors, like Broncos colors clash really in terms of actual performance. But yeah, I don't watch them, so it's fine. The Broncos are orange, orange, orange and blue. blue. Like, a, like a navy blue. It's the color of our sunsets. It's fucking beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Uh, okay. Off of that fucking topic, let's get into some real shit we actually care. <laughs> I feel like that topic lasted for a little bit. It did. Uh, it did. It did. Uh, I mean, not that I don't care about. Thanks, anything, Jake, for, like, for doing that. I, I'm being sincere. Like, that was a good topic, man. Lasted a while. Football's trash, though. Anyways, uh, let's get into gaming, guys. <laughs> we haven't talked shit about it. <laughs> Talk about some games, guys. All right, Ethan. What's uh, what's some games that you're really excited for? Like some new games coming out that you're super excited for. Uh. <laughs> Damn. What is <laughs> oh, coming you're gonna put out? Me on the spot like that. <laughs> um. Halo Infinite. Oh, I I am excited for Halo Infinite for the story story wise, just because I want to know it's like happening. Ooh. Yeah, I, I'm and excited too. I the still have a bad, bad guys from Halo Hello. Wars Two are supposed to be in it, which I think is pretty awesome. Yeah, that, that but um, cool. I'm excited for Back for Blood. Yes, uh, yes. yes, yeah, I got Left that in my dead, wish list. Basically. I was, I've been thinking about pre-ordering it. I haven't yet, but I'm highly debating it. Yeah, me and Michael have pretty similar shit, but that's because we played them together. <laughs> I don't know. I can't really like. I don't. I don't have a whole lot of games that I'm really like pumped for you know yeah well I, I know that me and dominic are pretty pumped for uh, outriders that's it's coming out july 1st that we played the demo on it and we like it it's it's awesome um i'm also curious to see i think dominic's curious as well because we played this as well it's called nine to five it's a 3v3v3 3 3 3 first person shooter with objective uh games yeah uh, game modes and stuff like that and it it was fun, but it needed a lot of work. It, there was a lot of shit you could really oh, cheat yeah. to win every you, time. Yeah, but you need it needed a lot of work done to it. It was only like a beta <clears throat> weekend, and it doesn't have a release date yet. So I would we'll barely see. call that a beta, though. Honestly, yeah, like, yeah. In like all I said, yeah. It was almost but, an yeah. alpha. It was. I'm still very fun, excited but... for Resident Evil. Also, Resident Evil Village, the new one. I I've never really played excited any of them. That. I'm not gonna lie, I've never played any Resident. I've been Evil. getting into Resident Evil a lot more here recently. I I decided to try playing 2, which I, I played it for a while, the remake of 2. I started playing it and it stopped for a while because I, I've always been kind of overwhelmed to get into those games because they're like, they're very complicated sometimes, well, that, <laughs> at least like, to someone like me. Yeah, and it always seems so hard to just get into a whole new universe and learn about it. Right, well, I started playing the 2 long. remake and... I came back to it and I started actually getting into it. I, I had a lot of tutorials pulled up, but I, I had a lot of fun playing it. And then I started playing three, and I'm like, I'm almost done with three. I just haven't really played a whole lot of games the last few weeks. But yeah. and then Thomas and I started playing the uh, multiplayer ones together, uh, which are five and six. So I, I I pretty much own most of them on my Xbox right now. I've just been getting really into it. I've I don't know. It's one one of the series I've always liked, but never. I've always been too uh, overwhelmed to play. I guess I think that's a good word to use. Yeah, it is. But now that I like know the story more, and I've played most of seven, I'm very excited for the next one. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm. Uh... I really want to download and, and play and procrastinating for some reason, but uh, Little Nightmares 2. I can't wait for that. Oh, yeah. I really want to play that. I need I've to play that. I've seen a lot of stuff on that. I actually I streamed the whole first one in I one watched go. you. Yeah, I watched you play the first one. I've never played the first mm. one, but I watched Ethan play it. Um, so, and that was sick. Isn't, was uh, Michael, isn't House of Ashes coming out this year? Oh, yes. Oh, Max asked me if he wanted, if I wanted to, if I liked horror games. Like spooky horror games and like choice based horror games, and I was like, yeah, it depends on what it is. And he was like, yeah. have you ever heard of the uh, Dark Pictures Anthropology? And I was like, Man of Madon. <laughs> Just <laughs> instant. Oh, somebody's behind you, creeping. Oh, no, Cooper has been on my bed. Oh, 
Dude, let me see little Coop, dude. Let's like, get him over Cooper, here. Cooper, come here. Michael. He's not a guy? Dude, I wiped his ass when he was a little baby baby boy. When Michael, when Michael lived here, you were like... Little okay. Cooper, dude. I remember changing your diaper, man. He changed your diaper once. He's all grown up, man. Look at him. Oh. How old is he? Leave my presence now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gone. Oh, I just I'll give your laptop back here in a few. But, um... No, a game I'm uh, a couple games I'm pretty excited for is a Total War saga called Troy, because um, I like Total War and I, it's a saga that's called Troy, and I love the movie Troy and love that era, and I can't wait for that. Another one is Total War Warhammer Three is coming out. Total Warhammer Two was amazing. I had an old friend that uh, that got me hooked on that, and I play it with uh, Bobby the Brute now, and I'd love to play it with uh, Mr. Dominic here if he ever wants to, and. Once Ethan gets a PC, I'd love to play with him because it's an amazing game. I love the role playing, just conquering the world kind of shit. I've never you know? played any of the Total War. I have a lot of friends that play the Total War games, so I've never played them myself nor like watched like videos for them or whatever. Same. Same. Yeah, it's all right though. It's all right though. The fucking. Yeah. There's a fucking. <laughs> fucking uh... Sorry. Well, what do you do? Hey, <laughs> nothing. Hey, nothing. Nothing. Okay, nothing. Where are you at? Uh, <laughs> I just downloaded re like two weeks ago. I bought this game. Fucking. Uh, it was like it's like one of the highest rated games I've ever seen, and it it's fucking not small. It's popular as fuck, but. It's uh, Hades, and fucking, uh, I've been playing that a lot recently, and that game is fucking sick, and it was mainly because I was trying to try something I usually don't play that much that I've never really played any type of that game, and it's a, it's a roguelike dungeon crawler game. I've seen never... a lot of good things about Hades. Dude, there's like 70,000 five-star reviews on it. That's like the most <laughs> amount of high reviews I've ever seen on a game. I'm like, wow, like, there's no way I could not enjoy this game, I feel. I love Greek mythology, and it's all about Same. you escaping fucking the underworld. Um, yeah, I've, I've looked into that. Maybe I might try it in later, but... It's fucking sick, but it is definitely one of those... It can be, it can turn into a rage game, because if, uh, if you fucking die, you start all the way back at the beginning. Um... But you keep upgrading and shit along the way. But it's super fucking cool. You can get power-ups from different fucking gods. You play... The main character you play is Zagreus, which is Hades' son. Um, So you're you're calling upon the Olympians, and they give you, like, power-ups and shit. And it's fucking cool. It's a really well-made game. The, the art style, I think, is phenomenal. The music is awesome. And the fighting mechanics are really fucking cool. Um, I've been enjoying it a lot. I'm excited to try to finish that sometime. Well, that's yeah. good. I'm glad. Michael got me fucking hooked on that Dark Pictures anthology shit, though. Like, oh, man. I'd never played it myself, hope was... I don't think. Maybe. Oh, Little Hope was but, fantastic. But watching it live was just something else. Reacting to that shit all together was crazy. I have Little Hope, but I have not played it yet. Have you seen... Do you know the story of it, or have you seen anything about it? Not really. Not just, like, things Michael's told me. Okay, so I've never seen or played Man of Madon. I've seen, like, the beginning of that game. I've... I've heard <clears throat> from a lot of YouTubers and from Michael that Little Hope is... But it is definitely a completely different story. Yeah, completely different, different. stories. Um, Man of Madon is, is, in my opinion, I think it's better. Um, I won't say why because I don't want to give away spoilers. Dominic probably knows why. Same with Mr. Bobby the Brute there because I played it with him. But, yeah, I, I definitely enjoy those games. If you ever want to play those games, I'm down. And, and at the end of Man of Madon... 
the curator hinted very, very hard at a, at one line, and he said, "Ye have a little hope," and it was like, "I bet the next game could be called Little Hope," and sure enough, there it is. <laughs> and then at the end of the Little Hope, they just gave up, and they were like, "Oh, uh, we're just gonna put a trailer for the next game in there. Here, have this." It was still amazing, but it was like, man, I really wish they would have fucking like hinted and that at one's that about, shit again. Uh, like a like a military uh, squadron or something, I believe. Yeah, they un- something uncover like something in like a jungle or something like that. It, they're it's all like creepy a, yeah. ass fun games, dude. I love them. I love them they're all. Full yeah. of. I'm pretty big on horror games. I'm full not, of, but I enjoy but playing Madonna, them. Madonna, they hit different. I, I don't know why. Yeah, I was gonna different. say I don't like horror games and shit. Like I've tried to play Outlast and shit. And that was not a good first game. Getting horror friends game together and playing horror games is one of my favorite. I one that of my is favorite fun. I agree. I've ever done was my uh, little nightmare stream because yeah. I had like Michael Thomas. I think Camber was there, Johnny maybe, and I, I, I don't know. Having everyone there is just fun. I really. I think a lot of that is just randos. because you know you're not alone. What you have to go through, and so because that's. I mean, that's my fucking biggest fear. It's like being God, alone. that that brings back so many memories playing horror games with friends. Remember playing White Noise? You white Noise? Terrified. Yeah, I was about to bring that, that up. Shit out of White Noise. Yeah, that shit was <laughs> terrifying the first time we played it. And then after like a third time, it was like, oh, this dude's a You're bitch. Like, oh, this is easy as fuck. <laughs> we and played just, it so many times. We just kept going back to it. We never, never did do, we never did play the too. second one. We no. never did get everybody I've together and play the second one. Never did yeah, it. we played the second one. We just didn't get everyone together, too. Or at least I, I played the second one. I had it, but I've never played it. I've I watched it. I, yeah, play I played it, it with it. people. Yeah, same. Well, yeah, wait, I'll redownload it. Let's play it right now. It is 10.02. <laughs> Things are winding down. So, that is going to do it for us tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Wow. We appreciate Time all really of flew. the support. If you guys want to see oh, us yeah. do these longer, maybe two hours, we could possibly do that on a Friday. Um, let us know. Um, I am going to switch over Lady. to the end screen here in a sec, which I gave you a glimpse of. Didn't mean to. Sorry. Yeah, I saw that. I just didn't bring it up. <laughs> it's okay. I misclicked. But go check out uh, Shipmaster454. He's streaming right now. Um, I may stream some games tonight we're gonna go play some games right now so i will end the stream and be back online momentarily so if you just wait Dang, probably, probably uh... two minutes and then refresh the page i'll be back online ethan probably is not going to stream but he might play some games with us he's a great dude yeah i'm not super active on twitch uh, much anymore because my internet's been bad i do enjoy streaming games every once in a while um i don't know i'm not super active on social media anymore but Dude, I am I on don't like Twitter and Instagram. Shit shit. Yeah, I, I post every now and then, but I send people memes, bro. That's it. He's, he still has a, a Twitch and all that stuff. If you want to go support him, you're more than welcome to. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I'm pretty much Ethan no, Adams, Adams 1000 on people, everything. Right? Capped yeah. Ethan 1000 on uh, most of my gaming stuff, at least. Nice. And like I said, Dominic, he streams pretty often, as probably as much as me, maybe a little more. Um, go check him out at Shipmaster454 on Twitch. <laughs> And without further ado, that is going to do it for me. I am Metroport signing off, and this is the first episode of Screw Time with the Boys ending now. <laughs>